Before I start this video, I want to let you know when you change the throttle positioning sensor on uh, some of these GMCs, the computer has to recognize the new part. And I, I just wanted you to know that your idle might be sporadic. So in other words, your idle might go high and uh, your RPMs are going to be high and then they're going to drop low. There's a, there's a whole system that you need to go through if that happens. And I printed it out right here um, on this sheet of paper. I'm going to put this in there. Uh, here's a little close-up of it. So I'm going to put that in there in the beginning of the video, and then I'm going to show a close-up of it at the end of the video. So before I start this project, I just want you to know that you might have a problem where you're idle is erratic but you can fix it without taking it to the dealer or taking it to your local automotive shop to clear your computer so just be aware that that might need to be done don't panic you can do it um, and I'm gonna put the instructions in the back of the video as well Today I'm going to show you how to change the throttle positioning sensor. I purchased this um, yesterday. I'll give you the part number. It's Duralast T as in Tom, P as in Paul, S as in Sam, 4270. They're all a little different. Uh, this particular model, it's large. This is for the 6.0. This right here. 6.0 liter, um, 2010 GMC Savannah. So it's right behind this air tube. So I'm going to take this off so I could access it more easily. It's, it's right behind that tube. I could see it from here. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. Um, this kit, it, it comes with the six new retaining clips. So when you pry them off, uh, sometimes you lose them, sometimes you know they go flying. But I'm going to show you in detail on how to do this. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, so I'm going to take this off, take this one off. And what I ended up doing is loosening up this wire. You have to pull the lock out, so this makes it easier to remove it. So you have to pull this white thing out. There's a little clip that you have to push and then you could pull this out. So that's removed from the wiring harness so I could uh, easily take it out. So we put that there. And then this, again, this is 10 millimeter. I loosen this up um, and I could remove the reservoir right here. So that just pulls out. I'm just doing this to give myself more room for the video sake. Um, and if you look, it's just the uh, throttle body sensor is right there. Okay, so I'm going to show you that when I pull out a little bit. So it's right in there. And I'm going to show you how to get in there and take it out. Um, I removed the hose clamp that's down. Oops, sorry about that. I removed the hose clamp that's down there. So hopefully I could just pull this whole system out of here. So I'm going to put the camera back up on the tripod and do that. I'll be right back. All right. Let me just move all this stuff out of my way so I don't drop it. Uh, what I like to do is I like to put the bolts back in their place once I remove the item and that way I don't lose them. So like I said, I loosen the hose clamp that's down there. And what I'm going to try to do is remove um, Remove this whole piece right here. Perfect. All right, so here we are. So now that's that's the whole thing. So I loosened up this hose right here. So I hope you can see that in the camera. So now this is all removable. Everything's intact. I could see my throttle body in there. I could see the sensor. Right. You see this little white this little white clip right here. 
Now you have to lift this little black tab. Let me get my pointer um, right here. You have to lift lift this tab in order to uh, to press the little pin that's in there, and then this should slide out. So I did that, and what happens is I want to show you right here. So you see that? I don't want to drop it. Okay, so push this tip down. Right, so I'm push, putting pressure on this right here with my finger. See that? And then you should be able to pull it out. Okay? So I pulled it out. That's the wiring over there. This is the throttle positioning sensor. So now I need to get in here and remove these six clips that hold it. So what I ended up doing was taking the four bolts that hold the whole throttle body housing off, um, loose rather, so then I took that off, so this is the uh, the throttle body right here, so, okay, it's easy enough, okay, so that's it right there, let me pull these clips off and show you exactly um, what I need to do, what I'm going to do while it's apart is I'm going to clean it, so I'll be right back. All right, just stick your screwdriver in there, like I said, and just pry it. Oop, there it goes flying. <laughs> just pry it gently, um, and there it is. It, you know, it comes off. It's a little difficult, and without taking the throttle body off on this particular uh, GMC Savannah, you're not going to be able to get back there to remove these clips. So I suggest take the four bolts out right here, and that way you could remove it. So let me finish removing the last clip, and I'll show you how it comes apart. All right, so now that it's off, just wiggle this, and it should come out. Oh, there's a gasket there. All right, so then just lay this down like that. Um, make sure that the, these plugs are still intact and not on your throttle body. Okay, and then let me just show you. Okay, that's what it looks like right there. Okay, this is the mechanism right here that controls the, the sensor. So there it is right in there. See that? So this is the old one. And like I said, mine didn't come with a gasket, which I'm surprised. Um, or did it? Oh, yes. The new one did come with a gasket. This is the new one. And this is the old one right there. So, actually, so uh, let me take this gasket off right here okay take the gasket off and uh, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is just like that I'm gonna turn it over make sure nothing falls out here put my fin my finger on the the gear um, give it a tap a little tap make sure no, any corrosion comes out of there all right so then that looks good everything looks good um, put the new one on Looks like it's in the same position. So I'm just going to put the new one on. Sorry about that. Put the new one on gently. Um, hopefully that lines up. Feels like it lined up. And uh, I'm going to need two hands for this. So I am going to put the clips on. And I'll be right back. I put all the clips on. So they're all done. I, I don't know how you will actually uh, be able to um, install this throttle positioning sensor without removing the throttle body because I thought I could do it, but there's no room in the back to get to these clips. So I put them all in, and I want to show you exactly how I did it. Um, it's very easy. So put the clip in. See, they have some teeth on the side here. See that? So you put it on like this, um, hold it, I don't want to drop it, uh, put it on there, and then what you end up doing is take your rubber mallet, I have a big one, so you take a small rubber mallet and just tap. Because this is aluminum the casting and you don't want to crack it. So it's very easy, you're not beating yourself up, you're not using a hard hammer. Put it on one side, tap it on the other, and you're done. Like I said, I got to clean this up before I put it back together. Let me reverse my steps. This is all clean now. Um, I just cleaned the inside, got rid of the carbon. I didn't clean the outside. 
So let's put it back together. We right. So now what I'm going to do is plug in the plug. Okay, this is the plug. Um, so just line everything up, push it in gently. You should feel a little click so you know it's all the way in. And don't forget to install your, your lock right here. So that goes in uh, a certain way. So make sure it goes in the proper way. I, it's kind of hard to show you on camera. But uh, make sure that goes in the right way. And the way you know, if you push it in, you should hear a click. Okay. Hopefully you heard that. So that locks it in. So Okay. Let's put the um, air cleaner shroud back on. So it's in here to keep it from popping back out. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to go over there and tighten that hose clamp down. I'm going to put the vacuum line back in the side all right so you just stick that in there um, tighten this up everything is was a 10 millimeter so you shouldn't have a problem all right I, I noticed that I need some fluid in there um, so okay and that's nice and tight now I'm going to bring you down here and show you this. Okay, this is the other plug that you have to reinstall. That's the safety clip that holds the plug from not coming out. So you push this in. You hear that little click. Then you push in the safety so it doesn't come back out. Like that. That should be good. All right. So that's not going anywhere. The bolts are in place. These bolts are in place. Throttle bodies back on. So now what I I'm all done putting it together. So I suggest that you remove the throttle body in order to get to the throttle positioning sensor. It'll be a lot easier to remove those clips. Um, th that's my suggestion. So if you have a question or comment, let me know. If you found it uh, easier to do it a different way, on. let me start it up so we could hear it. Okay, it sounds good. Um, everything's working properly. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks for watching. you do is you use a flathead screwdriver just get in there I'll show you uh, this one I'm not going to show you on that one but I'll show you on this one you just get in there and gently pry up okay just like that and it should shoot across the garage